Hello, my name is Pablo Stanley, and this is part of a crash course on Figma's Auto Layout. In this lesson, we'll design a credit card form, which is an essential part of a flow, but it's really easy to mess up. So we'll use Auto Layout to create a clean and dynamic design that can adapt to different sizes. First, we'll create a text input component. Then we'll add the necessary fields, and then we'll just put it all together. But how do you make it responsive? Well, we'll explore different ways for it to grow or shrink flawlessly. Okay, let's do this. Okay, let's take a look at what we're going to create. So this form, as you can see, it has multiple fields. This header has an image and the title, and this has a nested auto layout. Then we're going to create an input field. This input field is this one. It has its own auto layout, but it also has a label. So that label will have an auto layout here. And then you see here, this is like a credit card, uh, but the credit card numbers have their own spacing. And we can do that also with a nested auto layout in it and also have a little icon on the right. And also here, we see that we have is the same input field. We're going to create a component, but we're going to do it in its own auto layout. It's a horizontal one that allows us to put two fields next to each other. And then zip code, and then at the end, a button, a button with a note below. So it has its own auto layout too, and also an icon that can also be created with an auto layout. Everything can be created with an auto layout. Okay, so let's get started. First, we have that title, then we have a label, and let's create one input field, like a text input. So let's say that it's going to be a name. So the name, and now that we have a text, we can actually add an auto layout to it just by pressing Shift A. Shift A, it has an auto layout. Let's give it a fill, just a white fill. Now it's starting to look like an input field, right? And now let's add four pixels on the corner radius. And now let's uh, start playing around with the spacing. Now we can check the padding around it. The padding eight pixels of the fault is actually pretty good. Uh, we can keep it like that. Let's see what happens when it grows. The text inside, it just stays like that. We actually want the text to be filling the content. So not hugging the content. We want it to be filling the container. So just like that. And that way, if it becomes two lines, it just it fills the container. Okay, so that's one. Now we want to add a little icon on the right in case we need it. So we're going to go to my assets. I'm going to add just a credit card icon here on the side. And then I'm going to put this at 16 pixels. I think it's too big the default. And see how it automatically, since I dropped it inside the auto layout, it's already being part of this. If I move it around, see, it's moving with this. So uh, now this one is just the fixed width and fixed height. That's actually perfect. That's what we want. Let's just change the color of it. Maybe it's too dark. And this is starting to look good. I think I want to add a little bit more padding here on the side. I, I, I feel like I, I always on my text inputs, I want to have a little more padding on the left and on the right. So easily I can do that without the layout. I open this and I say on the left, I want it to be 12 pixels. Now over here, I can apply 12 pixels too. Let's see. Uh, yeah, that actually looks pretty good. I'm going to actually turn this into an input field. So I'm going to turn it into a component. Let me change the name to text input. There you go. I'm going to now put it over here. Let's say it's eight pixels. Now I'm going to duplicate this because I want to keep my original over here somewhere over here. And now I'm going to use an instance of the component over here. Now these ones, I'm going to use auto layout to shift eight, boom. Now it's an auto layout. I'm going to call it input plus label. There you go. Now we're going to duplicate this. Now we want to add another one that is like the credit card info, right? Now this one is going to be a little bit different here inside because we wanted to have one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, but I don't want it with space. I want it to be automatic. So what I'm going to do is actually, I'm going to duplicate this one. I'm going to turn it, put it over here. I'm going to detach this component, this, this instance. So now it's not a component anymore. And now I'm actually going to say one, two, three, four, that one. And I'm going to say here, it actually hugs 
the contents. So don't worry, you're going to say what's going on here. Don't worry, what we're going to do is actually going to duplicate this. Now we have these four, but on this four, ah, the spacing is too far apart. So I'm going to press Shift A, and I'm adding an auto layout inside this too. So I'm going to put it at eight pixels. Eight pixels looks pretty good. And now I'm going to also say that this doesn't hug the contents, it just fills the container. And see, this part is still aligned to the left because it's aligned to the left here. Maybe you want it to be in the center. It doesn't really affect it, but it's aligned to the left that the, the values are over here. If I want it to be aligned to the right, I could do it here. I could say it in the center, but we want it on the left. And that's pretty cool. And since it's filling the container, the width of it is filling the container, it's pushing this icon over here. That's perfect. So now I'm going to say text input and I'm going to call it CC, okay? and I'm going to turn it into a component. And actually I'm going to select these two and I'm going to combine them as variants. And that way, I'm just going to say that it's a type, text input and text input uh, credit card. And I have here, and now I can go over here and say this one, I can just change it to text input to text input credit card. And I have it as a credit card here. Look at that, so cool. So let's, again, what did we do? We added auto layout on this whole component. This whole component is one auto layout, but inside it, we added another auto layout for the numbers of the credit cards. So they have that spacing in between them. Pretty nifty. Then we just said, fill the container and that way it will push the icon to the side. We did the same over here. Okay, cool, let's continue. Okay, now we want to add two more input fields, the expiration date and the CVV number. So I'm actually going to duplicate this one over here and I'm going to call it X date. And then inside I'm going to put MM slash YY. Something also that I want to do, I don't want this icon. On this one, I don't want the icon. I can just press delete. It doesn't really delete it. It's actually hidden over here since it's a component. I'm going to do the same with this one. It's nice to have the icon there when you need it, but when you don't want it, you can just hide it. Okay, cool. So we have this one. Now I'm going to duplicate it. This is going to be the CVV. CVV, let's put a number here, but I'm going to use this. So, because usually it's hidden like that. And actually I want to add an icon. Let's add an icon and maybe that one is going to be like an IFO icon. You've seen that uh, uh, that kind of, uh, because sometimes people are confused, what the hell is the CVV? Well, they that do this when you hover and then it shows you where the CVV is in your credit card. Okay, we have these two, but actually since these are really small inputs, we can put them together side by side. So. How do we do that? I'm going to actually select those two. I'm going to press Shift A. And right now, it just made an auto layout vertically, right? But I want them side by side. So I'm going to turn it over here on the side to be a horizontal auto layout. So, okay, we have them side by side, but they're huge right now. I actually want them to be half the size. So I can, right away, I can just select these two and say, instead of having hugging the contents, I can say, fill container. And now I can start resizing this. And, oh, no, nothing's happening, right? Something weird is happening. And that's because also the text input here this text input is also fixed width. I don't want it to be fixed. I want it to be filling the container too. Fill the container, change it here, over here. And now let's try it again. Look at that, oh yeah. It's actually, we want to go back and do the same over here. We want all of this to be filling the container. And now you're going to say, what the hell, what happened? Well, it's because these should also be a little bit huge, a little bit larger. Just like that, there you go. Okay, cool, we have all of this. This is one auto layout, let's call it exp CVV. There you go, this combo. Now let's do the last one. And the last one is going to be just the zip code. So we can just duplicate this one, zip code. And then over here, just one, two, three, four, five. Usually it's five numbers. Okay, cool, so we have all of this. Now I want to change the text on all of these I think uh, they're gonna look better 
if these are a little bit gray. So I already have some colors here. I'm going to use these colors. There you go. They're starting to look better. They're not filled in yet. And now we want to add a button. So let's create a button and the button is going to be uh, confirm payment. I don't know if that's the best CTA. Let's just use that one. And again, let's turn it into an auto layout, shift A. Boom, it's an auto layout. Let's change the color. Let's, I'm going to use this uh, really nice blue, like purple, blur, blurple, is that what it is? I don't know. Okay, so this one, and I think it's looking good. I like the padding. I think uh, the padding should be a little bit bigger on the bottom and on the top, just a little bit chunkier. And maybe on the size is 24 and 24. That looks a little bit better. Let's add those four pixels on the corner radius. And okay, we got this, we have this. Now we have a note and let's go over here just to copy paste this note. Just going to copy it. Then I'm going to put it over here, just some text that says like, you verified that this info is correct. Okay, we have all of our info. Now something else, we wanted to add a little bit of uh, fun here with an illustration on the top. So I'm going to open the blush plugin. So I'm just going to, if you haven't installed it, just go to the, the plugins page and then uh, install it. It's uh, really cool for illustrations. And with this plugin, I'm going to go to this collection that I really like that is called Street Life over here, this one by Young. And this one has a character's head and I can just insert a character, I don't know, it's pretty fun to play around with these. Uh, and I'm going to put it over here, a little bit small, it's just like a little icon saying like, yo, let's pay, let's get this payment going. Okay, and if and the cool thing here is that if you want to just like customize this, you can just like customize anything in the illustration. You can also just press randomize and it just randomizes all the elements. I like that one, I'm going to keep that one. Now, okay, let's go back. The same thing as before, we want to add an auto layout to this one. So let's press shift A and I want to say that this is one is going to be four pixels in between them. Just a uh, pretty, uh, pretty tight. And I want to center the contents. I want to center it to the top, just like that. I'm liking this. Now comes the moment of truth. I'm going to actually put all of these elements into one single auto layout. Oh, hold on, I forgot to do this. I want to add an auto layout to this one too. So it has its own padding. Maybe this one should be eight pixels. Eight pixels just so it's a little bit tight. Okay, cool. So now let's put them all together. Shift A, bow, look at that. Let's add, let's say that it's 24 pixels in between them. That looks really nice. Now let's add a fill inside it just to fill in the background let's also add just some padding around it we're losing our input fields right because there's the same color of the background but that doesn't matter remember why because we have these elements over here the components we can just add a stroke to it i'm going to add a little bit of a, like a light gray and look at that now we can see the forms the input okay cool we have this Let's add a more padding on the sides. I think it needs a little bit more padding. So I can just open this. Let's say that it's a 24 on the side, 24 on the side. It's kind of like floating. It's a floating credit card input form. I'm liking this. Let's add more padding on the bottom. Let's add 24 too. Yeah, and let's keep this one 16. Why? Because there's already a lot of white space that this image is creating. So you don't need a lot of spacing on the top. So 16 is actually pretty nice. Okay, cool. So we have this. Now we can choose if we want to align this to the left, if we want to keep this aligned to the left, or if we want it to be like a filling the container. Right now, Nothing's happening to the button. That's because the button is also, it's only hugging the content. So we want it to fill the container too. And also we want to say, hey, I want this content to be in the center. Maybe we want to do the same with this one where we want to say, fill the container. There you go. Now it's center, it's looking nice. I think I want to center this one too. So I'm going to say, hey, fill the container. Fill the container and also the contents, center them, boom. Now, all of these, I think all of these should also be 
fill in the container. Why? Because if I were to resize this, look at what happens. They just stay the same here. This one, since it's filled the container, look at it. It's just stretching with the size of this. We want that to happen. So what we can do is just like select these and say, hey, fill the container. Boom. It's now filling the container. Even the space in between this is remaining the same. Over here, by the way, this should be like 24, 24. See how, oh my God, imagine all the math you would have to do to calculate this. That would have been crazy, crazy stuff. Well, you don't have to do that anymore without the layout. So dope. Okay, so actually, let's say that this one is around 400 pixels. 400 pixels, that's pretty good. That's 360, 360. I like the number of 360 degrees. Okay, cool. I think I think we have it all. We have all the elements. So we create an auto layout for text input. We turn it into a component. That way we'll be able to just change elements to it. Then we add a label and we add an auto layout to it just to keep it spacing of eight pixels between the label and the input field. Also, we added an instance, another version of this input text for credit card. And the credit card has four groups with four numbers inside. Then we also added the option to add an icon on the right, but for it to be pinned to the right, we had to do this text inside it to be fill the container because if it had just been hug the content, look at it, that would have not been good. So we want it to be filling the container so it expands and then it pushes this icon to the right. That same thing happens with this input over here. Now, over here we have regular input fields, but what we had to solve is how to put them together side by side. So we just put them together. We add an auto layer to it, a horizontal one. We add a spacing of 24 and look at it. We just said, fill the container and it just adapts to it. Then at the end, we added one button and a label and that's it. We put it all of it together and we have our form. Pretty cool stuff. So this is part of a crash course of Figma's auto layout. There are more lessons like this. If you want to continue learning, just see the other videos and let's learn together. Thank you so much.